Someone that watches the YouTube channel sent this for us. You're kidding. What That's doing? wonderful. It's a taste of Chicago. Oh, 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 my man. Fire. Thank you. Is this how the hot mess cooking show always goes? Hello? Just in case you want to see it, Mom opened it to see what was in it. Looking good. I didn't really look at it. Oh, baby. That's going to be fun, man. Whatever that is. Huge thank you to Roland for sending my family and I some Portillo's Italian meat. Italian what? I can't speak. Beef sandwiches from A Taste of Chicago. And I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was gonna be deep dish pizza, but I was surprised to find it was Portillo's Home Kitchen. Portillo's Hot Dogs Stand opened in 1936 in a six by 12 trailer with no running water. Today with more than 60 locations, Portillo's famous in Chicago and across the country for having the best Italian beef in the city. Rolls for the sandwiches, roasted sliced bottom round. And he sent enough for eight people, which is amazing. It also comes with I don't know, but excited. Roasted sweet peppers. Not gonna lie, this bag could not tell what it was. Bacon syrup roll. Two quarts of gravy. So, whatever. I gotta stop telling you guys and just show you, you know. Shannon's also coming over. I 100% should have left it out yesterday when I got it, but I just took it out of the freezer like a couple hours ago because, because I'm unprepared. I have my camera in the toaster right now. <laughs> uh, suck at you duping guys. Almost. All right, what can I help with? Obviously, open the bottle of wine. I could have left it out overnight. It is what it is. It is. Oh. We'll be careful with that. What it is. Exactly. So that all melts. They said 180, and then you want the meat to be served at 170. Jardinara. You know Jardinara, no. Yeah, let me see it. Jardinera. It's not. Jardinera. <laughs> it's basically, it. no, yeah, we're going to put that up. And on today's episode of the Hot Mess Cooking Show. I'll wash my hands. I'll pour it. Here it is. Baking instructions. Melt. Baby, melt. Where's the wine glass? More for us, Lucille. The gravy is melting right. nicely. An Italian beef sandwich from Chicago with the gravy and with some peppers, some sweet peppers. I, never heard of it, I know. You never been to Chicago. <laughs> Shipped from my friend Roland. Thank you, thank you. My friend, someone that watches the YouTube channel, sent this for us. You're kidding. And they said try it. Yeah. Oh, really? He said you've already had deep dish pizza, so this is what you should try next. Okay. Get her face, because I'm going to tell her how much the package cost. That how do you know? I saw it on the press tag. How much? Really? And it was a gift to Lane. And the family. Really? And the family. Thank you very much. That, that's a very nice gift. This Grandma, he had. knew you were this, here. This wonderful. is the restaurant. Yeah, this oh, is for you too. So that's what that's they're doing. Wonderful. It's a taste of Chicago. Lane. Isn't it? Absolutely. You guys are the best. Sometimes I don't understand. They are the best. They really are. Like, and your jacket is kind of cool too. I wonder what team that is. Combs. Is that I'm, a place in LA? Where were you when you bought this? I thrifted. I have no idea whose it is. Interesting. No Why? idea. What do you do for delivery, though? They ship it. Chicago. Yeah, but what I'm trying to say is that makes it extremely expensive. It probably was extremely expensive. This, that's why I am extremely thankful. That that's unbelievable. Right. <laughs> Say thank you, Roland. Oh, it's thank you, Roland. unbelievable. Thank you, Roland. And I'll thank you again after I get to taste it. <laughs> what I'm saying is. Ready, Dad? Taste the first glass. Mm -hmm. Oh, we should go cheers with Gmail. Yeah, let's go get Gmail out of here. Can't leave Gmail. Grandma bought us this wine. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Man, this is my kind of cheers, dinner. Cheers, ready? Cheers. I'm getting gifts from everybody. I love it. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. 2018, it's an organ. Nice pin. Oh my gosh, I really like that. That's very good. That's a very good Pinot. Yes, it is. What is it? Climarias. You buy a case. Climarias. Climarias. Gotta buy a case. Grandma goes, you gotta buy a case. What? Two bottles a night, and we drink six nights a week. <laughs> we should well, not be drinking six nights a week. Well, we do. So sometimes you guys only have one bottle. Sometimes I don't. Okay, like so week. if we drink two bottles, it is a Thursday, and I am we drinking. drink three. Lucille, yeah. you and I, Kathy, drink three cases a month. I don't care what you say. I'm okay, you guys drink three cases a month. You lushes. Well, if you do a bottle and a half a night for thirty nights, how many is that? 45. I don't know, you're the math man, not me. 45, and how many bottles in a case? 12. So if we take three nights <laughs> off, that would be 36 bottles, that's three cases. That's the minimum we drink per month. What are you talking about? Damn. 
That's what it is in an Italian household. It ain't cheap being Italian. <laughs> Three cases Should I saute some cheese. onions on the side or do you think it's no. all in that pepper? No, you're not messing with their oh, okay. recipe. What I are you know, kidding? but like onions. No. Onions just enhance. No, that's for another time. We're doing the recipe the way they call touché, it. Touche, touche. The wine just got to me. What can I say? Why would we not? So I was going to try to relinquish a little bit control. Wait, what? A little bit of control and I was going to maybe pay somebody to edit this video because you know I have so many other videos that I'm so excited about but I just need to get around to editing them and there's like not enough time in the day but uh, there's so much going on in my family in the background like in the beginning of the video I'm sure it's gonna keep happening after we start drinking and that's why I don't have I'll an editor. Olives, Lucille, you want a couple of olives? Quick so we could be eating sooner than later but you want to make sure it's all broken up. Five minute time frame? I'm so bad with timing. I'm gonna bake. I'm gonna bake our bread. Wait. Okay. So so we wait. Hi, Shannon. We're gonna wait for you. We're gonna time it. I'll be there in like 20 minutes. Okay. Love you. Bye. Wine dirty pork. Mmm. Delicious. That's gonna go great on it. I'm okay to put it right in the oven. It smells good. It's gonna smell bad. Did we finish the wine already? No. No. I'll get some more. You deserve it. You're cooking. Plus, Roland. Cheers we're, we're, Roland. The, we're the benefactor of Roland's generosity to you, so I'm loving life right now. Loving life. Oh, wow, that lighting's better. That lighting is. So, I'm in charge of asparagus. Ready? Wait, thumbnail. Where's your wine? Oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> eating all the olives. Oh, it's beautiful looking asparagus, by the way. Oh, I love this. The peppers are thick. Yeah. Thick peppers. Thick and in oil. I Why need. Were you guys dogging garlic salt? Like garlic salt was a problem. You guys were dogging garlic salt on your. Why? Because you want fresh garlic. Who wants dried up garlic? Fresh garlic. Well, like like Pinot Noir salt is a problem. It's no, 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 Dad. That is salt with an added special ingredient. And garlic salt is lame. Use the garlic and no, use the salt. Just be dried garlic with it. You're wrong. No, I think you're wrong. You're wrong. All righty then. Back in the toaster you go. This is boiling, so I'm gonna take the meat. Should I put the bread in first or put the meat in first? Meat in, bread put in. Put the meat in, put the bread in. You meat in, bread in. What in. Do you want? Go for it. I mean, the bread on this side. Wow, you know, that smells so yeah, good. I can't believe Roland sent us enough for eight people. Seven. I love it. Uh, we'll do our best with just five. <laughs> We're gonna eat it all? Yeah. Lane, well, Lane, I'm stealing some of this you delicious six, gravy. Quick. Sound me up. What? That sounds great. A little slow. Well, why am I slow? Red wine. Yes, red wine. <laughs> and then maybe oh, wow. get, a, get a wood. Well, like they're all going to be mixed. No, so. but that's separate, separate. That will have to keep going. It's it super thin. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be so good. So we're just going to drop that right onto the bread. It's going to be. I'm going to flip the asparagus once I can put the camera down. All right. Thank you to my cameraman, Mark Fable. Thank you. Clap it up. Good. Thank you good. to my cleanup crew, Nero Fable. This is going to be fantastic. You gotta love that. Are okay, well, when you drink wine on an empty stomach, it goes right to your head. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that, actually. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So this is looking amazing. Yeah. Is all the meat separated? I used a little garlic, a little olive oil, oh. a little sauce. Dumbass. What'd you do? I sprayed it all over myself. That's what the wine does. No. That's what the wine no. does. No. What's this? This is famous spot in Chicago, Petrillo's. Shaved beef. This is an Italian beef sandwich. Not asparagus. It's got sweet peppers. The bread is baking. They sent us a bread with half baked bread. So we're gonna make this this a gravy and this shaved beef in. So this is like a Chicago Italian version of what Philly would have cheesesteak, but this is a Chicago. Pretty well, having had no the Philly there. cheesesteak version in a couple different places, I'm excited for this. This is gonna be great. Roll, 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 roll my man. Thank you. Well, we're having fun tonight. We're oh, we are? Fun. Yeah. Hi. Did you hear what we're doing? <laughs> <laughs> Grandma, do you think we look like twins? <laughs> Just the tall oh, person. Oh, the short one. <laughs> <laughs> Both are zero. No, you take care of the asparagus. I have okay, the bread. Okay, I'll take care of the bread. I got the bread. <laughs> like it's hard. All right, so we made it a little crispy. Oh my God, this is too hot. I didn't think this through. Yeah, I would wait to cut the. Well, first over? of all, get a cutting board. Don't cut on metal. Hello, wooden board. Yeah, let me know. <laughs> okay. Is this how the hot mess cooking show always goes? That's how it goes every time. <laughs> you know, I meant for it to not be a hot mess, but <laughs> I literally do this. I'm gonna let Lucy bring. I'll bring that on hers right away. Of course you make. So we cut the bread. Of course you make. You see the steam? Oh wow! Nice. We baked the bread. We baked the bread. Um, let me get Grandma's plate. 
Okay, Mark, continue talking. Break the bread, <laughs> take the shaved beef and gravy, put it on the sandwich with the fresh Wait, peppers. you don't have to tell them, I'm just gonna do it. Do it, I'm gonna get out of your way. Okay, so like he said, we're gonna take the, I'm just kidding. Is that too much? Oh, probably, but she's gonna make me cut the sandwich in half, so. Yes. Emily is in love with those green olives. Oh, I like oh, that touch, a little extra gravy. Come on, I'm not a noob. I like that. Go get them, Shannon. Wait, you stole the tongs. I need those. Here you go. They stay with you. Thank you. <laughs> and here we go. Oh, it's supposed right, to be there. So ow, ow, I hurt myself. Wait, oh wait, no, no, turn it this way. I don't want those papers in it. That was my makeshift oh, tripod. We'll see if you shake all packs. We're all gonna have two sandwiches. Come next, load me up. Ooh, that bread peppers. is good. I want peppers everywhere. Okay. Hello, where's the cutting board that you were cutting the bread on? I'm using oh, it. You're stealing the cutting board and getting yelled at. I brought you the plates over for a reason. Put less what on mom's peppers? Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. I got so many cooks in the kitchen. There's a little bite to it. Was this supposed to be my dad's? Yes. Okay, then I'm definitely going to put another piece on. And then I'm going to need a little bit extra. One. Thank you, thank you. That's Mark. Mom loves that white. I use it. Thank you, Shannon. You're the best. Look at this. Shannon's like, I thought it wasn't working. Back to my week. I bet you that Shannon can read the Japanese. We've been having some trouble trying to pronounce that. No, we're not having trouble. Wait, what? I can't even read English. If this is another thing. <laughs> it's Italian. <laughs> Nona tried to teach me Italian once, and since I had too much of an American accent, she told me I was useless. <laughs> you really chinsed out on that pepper. Sorry, I, I don't know. Did I put enough juice on this? Man, it's so good. Okay, wait, I gotta get it on camera. I'm stealing. All right. Oh my gosh. How am I gonna carry this? This is probably the dumbest thing I've ever done. Just kidding. This Just kidding. So no, I've done worse than this. We're doing the little 70s round table. You don't wanna miss it. Hey. So delicious. So delicious. I see the in the eyes. Here's my sandwich. Mm, 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 mm. Damn. Okay. okay. Oh my god. Okay. Go, okay. Shannon. Go. Go. <laughs> She's like, what is that? Mm. Is that a plate over there? Yes, sir. Damn. Pop. Okay. Mmm. All right. I need more of that juice. I should bring that oh, over. Oh, it's so good. Well, yeah, it, it's to be served. All with right, Grandma. Person. What do you think? Mmm. Very good. You love it? Love it. Oh my goodness. Okay, Roland. Thank you so much. I thanked you before, but wait, just watch me eat this. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you can mm -hmm. put the Jared mm -hmm. stuff in it. It's so good. Oh my God, it's so delicious. We Thank you. love it. Dang. Okay, I need Quinn's reaction and then we can right. eat off camera. Sorry, fam. I'm sorry, but Philly doesn't stand a chance against this. Uh-oh. No way. Quinn, will you bring over like a cup of that juice, please? <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Totally Very good. Mom, well, the peppers were even better. I know you don't like peppers, but the peppers definitely make it. That mm. is so good. You gotta put this on it, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna put some of the hot. I've been having trouble with this, so I don't know why. Because I have a friend who her last name is Giardini, and I just keep saying that instead of it's like Giardinetti or something. But it's just so different, right? A little extra I know vinegar. grandma's eating with her hair. If you guys don't know from the Hot Miss Cooking Show already, or any of the vlogs, my grandma's famous line is, cut it in half. I don't want to eat more than I can take, which, I uh, know, I don't want to take more than I can eat. There's no way she's only eating half tonight. I grab a spoon Just gonna call it right now. She's already done with her first half. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Corona. Bless you. Oh no, funny. <laughs> I forgot you had it. Yeah. The tenderness wait, and the wait. flavor of that, I can't wait to try it. Roland hooked it up. Roland hooked it up. Roland, Roland, seriously. That was all bread, hold on. <laughs> Please hold. That's Although, flavor's yeah. good. Yeah, raw bread is still good. Ooh, oh, wow. That is a mouthful mm, of flavor. It's delicious. I love that. Yeah. It's, not, it's like butter. Mm. I'm gonna be sad when this is over. I've never had wow. anything like this. The shaved beef mm. in that gravy, fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. I could have to eat that gravy as a soup. What'd you say? I don't know who Roland is. Mm. <laughs> Always when I take a bite, I'm gonna put the camera over That's here. That's all right. That's what the mukbang is all about. <laughs> that, that's so true. That's what the mukbang is all about. Kind of bite. Thanks, Roland. Delicious. Mm. You're the best. The bite, the peppers is the best. 
Is that yeah, a, when you add the hot, the hot you, put a lot of you have to add that oh, hot one. Yeah, Thank you, hot. Rowan, for introducing yeah. us to this. This was amazing. Mm. Oh my god. Yeah. I told you, Chicago was the only other city <laughs> I could live in. Too hot? Even finishing the bread, the bread oh. comes. Kind of stuck on me. So the bread that comes that... partially baked and you bake the bread, it's just terrific. So what do you do? You said you like a care package? Yeah, a care package from Chicago. It came from the restaurant. That's delicious. Uh, Chicago also has really good Polish food. Um, I was studying uh, what's called. Genetic. Mom's going back for seconds. I'm not going to lie. I'm eating grandma. When I saw that it was Italian meat sandwich, I was oh. like, you know, I kind of wish it was deep dish pizza. No, 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 this no, blows no, away no, deep yeah, dish yeah, pizza. No. Uh oh, so grandma was... had the peppers. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're doing a drive by. How you feeling? How you feeling? So I went to Chicago and never had um, deep dish pizza. Right, I'm gonna order from this place. I'm not gonna lie, New York pizza is better. <laughs> yeah, I good. never had it. There was, I just, there was just so many. I warned you over and over not to eat that. You don't listen, Mom. Grandma's a rebel. What you do with the genetics? You're yeah. a rebel, Mom. I you asked do her, not listen. I asked her not to eat it because it says hot on it three times. It says hot and red. <laughs> I told her. I told her. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what Grandma said? What I need more wine. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait. Grandma, what did you say? Get me off camera? Get me on camera. I'll get me on camera. <laughs> <laughs> she said, like, get me off. Get me on camera. Did you say on? Mm -hmm. On. She did, she did. I thought she said all. She's turning into a reality show grandma. Gma, you're going to have Gma's of New Jersey. Listen, we got Gma of New Jersey and we have Nona of New York and Nona is, I'm coming out with a, a Q&A with her for Poseidon Bakery. No. Also, Roland, I can't thank you enough. This, this was incredible. Roland. We had a great time cooking, eating, laughing at grandma for <laughs> eating too much hot food. Grandma hogging it all out the beer. So of course, I ran out of, dad's pumped. Oh, we're done. I'm taking some quints. <laughs> ah, damn. <laughs> I, just, I need a sip for my sandwich because it's hot. All of a sudden, I hear this big bang. I go running there. I go running wow. out. It's Unbelievable. Whole the way it's cooked with that gravy, though, one, I think that's what does it. Huh. It's just so flavorful. That gravy's nuts. Oh, my yeah. God. The battery's so dying, good. so we're gonna go soon. But oh my God, I'm amazed. Recording all of that, Jesus. I know. You don't know how much stuff yeah, I have on camera. Yeah, editing. I would never want to do that. Yeah, we want so, to get she sells the rest. <laughs> I am. In, I'm amazed at. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm amazed oh, at how well it shipped from Chicago. This tasted absolutely incredible. If you guys want to order, I'll leave the link below. <laughs> but it was amazing. It was amazing. Roland, I can't thank you enough. I gotta find a new word other than amazing. But and I say absolutely baking too much. the bread, that was delicious. Mm. The fact that you had to finish baking the bread. I had to say, yeah, the half-baked bread. Oh, baking the bread. Probably was the touch. Yeah. Honestly, the hot peppers were great, yeah. but they so almost good. took out Gma, so. <laughs> half-baked and then frozen, and then you finish mm. No one cares.